Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at a calendar app called DigiCal. And uh, I know there's a lot of calendar apps out there uh, that you guys are looking for uh, to change up from the Android stock version or one of the ones that's installed on your phone from the manufacturer's UI. Uh, this one is really nice. Uh, like I said, it's called DigiCal, and this is the plus version of it, which I'll get into in a little bit. But um, it has the hollow theme, uh, which was introduced in Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, and it has a lot of really cool functionality. Very similar to the stock experience, but just uh, with enhanced uh, an enhanced experience. Now, this is the day view, um, and just like any uh, calendar app, you have different views. And the day view, uh, you can actually zoom in and uh, zoom out with pinch to zoom, and you know get your look. But one thing I like here is that you get the uh, monthly. Uh, calendar on top here which kind of gives you a perspective if you're scheduling appointments to kind of see what days fall on what uh, which is just a nice added touch uh, because you really don't need the whole screen so I like that now you go in the week mode and that's very similar uh, a lot of these calendar appointments by the way are my wife's I don't really use the calendar all that much uh, I use mostly tasks but um, you can kind of see you know to me it's a little boring actually let's go back a couple of weeks to when I was at CES whoops you can see uh, it's quite busy there really isn't much there that's readable I mean it does give you an idea if you're busy or not which that's busy yes but it's really not worth much now if you go in the week mode you kind of get an idea on on a better look of things. It's the secondary week mode. It's a grid style, and this gives you a really uh, much better look, which I really like. Now you go into month view, and this also is uh, can be quite busy in most uh, apps. You just see a bunch of dots, and what does it really mean? Uh, you can click on the day, you know, tap on the days, and you'll go to that day, which you know that's that's okay but this is really good in that you get a split screen and you don't have to leave the calendar you can have this on the screen and still be able to scroll and look at things which is really nice I like that and um, you can switch days and still be able to scroll now you can double tap and still go into the day which is uh, also very nice now the other thing is if you tap on a day uh, on an event you don't go to the next screen right away you can kinda of see the information you know where it's at if you have that information and all that good stuff and if it's um, and if it's uh, and if you want to go further you can just go here and actually edit the event now the other cool thing that you can also do is if when I tap on this you notice up here you have cut and paste options so you can actually cut the event to move it I know you can change the date as well, but copying is also very cool. Uh, something I wish that uh, we had, nor you know, for ease of use in the, in the stock calendar, because sometimes it's not a recurring event, but you want to copy it. But in this particular example, let me let me just show you. Um, I just copied the event, and uh, let's just go to today, and let's just say I want to schedule it the same event for today. I'm going to hold down here, and you're going to see new and paste. Now, if I go in the new, I can do my event just like I would any event, and there isn't really much difference there. I got my times, my dates, guests, and all that good stuff. But let's just go back over here again. We'll just hold down, and we'll go paste. Not only is it pasting the title of the, of the event, but it's pasting all the information uh, that came along with it, which is really cool. So if you have any notes, if I had any notes in there, anything, you know, it's right there. So uh, now I'll just, just quickly delete the event because I don't really need it, but that is, that's a really cool option. Now let's talk widgets. This is my favorite widget right here, um, which is the, um, what's it called, um, the day list. And that's also another feature that I like as well. Whoops, let me go back as since I went back. Well, obviously, if you tap this, you're going to go into the calendar. But what's really nice is that many times you have the feature to actually edit your widget. Now, in this right now, it's only showing a week's worth of data. He's actually doing an update today that's going to make that so you can go up to as much as 35 days. Uh, you can set this to be whatever you want. But this is a lot like the agenda type of um, uh, look that you get with, uh, you know, say, stock Android. We'll go ahead and save that. 
and of course I'm in the calendar, uh, you know, it's going into the calendar when I tap it, but we'll go back out again. And I go to the widget, and there's your agenda, and I have it set for many days. And, and like I said, the other one will switch to that. This is also nice too, but I really like the look of the other, so I can go in and edit. And there's also a, gri a day grid, and you can say, ro and you can actually change a lot of these settings, which are really nice. There's just so many settings in here, so, ma so many more that I can't even, you know, just get into in this video but uh, let's just go back out and there's the day grid it's okay um, you know not a big deal but the, the being able to edit the widget is really nice now in this particular mode I don't think editing it is is as easy uh, oh I think if I go here yeah there it is it's not as easy to find but you can go in and and, and what I really like is being able to edit the widget without having to literally delete it and reinstall the widget so I really like that now speaking of uh, I mentioned this was a plus version let me go into edit uh, you can change the fonts uh, on the on the plus version which is four dollars and ninety nine cents what the plus version is you can change fonts you get rid of advertising and you also can change the transparency so let's just say I, I got the event text size up to 15 points. The default was 10, which I thought was a little small. I'm going to change that back to 10 just to show you. And there's the transparency. I can set the transparency to whatever I want. Uh, let's just, well, let's, let's uh, make it low. Right now it's at 60%. So let's make it low. We'll save it. And, whoops, I did, I did go back out. And there it is. So now I'm seeing more of the, my live wallpaper that I have there. Um, with less transparency, but the font's a lot smaller. So I can go in here and uh, let's just say, um, you know, and I can change the fonts for different stuff to the, the today, the day of the week. So, but let's just go up, let's go up to 20. Um, well, actually, 6, 15 pretty much is the highest of 16, so it's not going to be much different. So I'll bring it back to 15 and um, day of the week. We'll move that up to 15, and we'll go ahead and save it, and there you go. Of course, it's a little bit too big because it splits up the days, so we'll just move that day of the week down to, um, let's move that down, because I know Wednesday sometimes is a little, or is it Thursday was too big, uh, so it's a little smaller there. It all depends on what you like, and that's really cool. And you get rid of the ads for uh, $4.99. Now, actually, I, I didn't have the ads at all. Um, I never even saw the ads. I went right to the paid version uh, because this this one uh, really looks uh, really good. So, but like I said, you can try the free version, see what you think. It's you know it's not going to cost you a dime. It's free. You'll deal with some ads, and you can't change the fonts. No big deal. Uh, and if you like it, four dollars and ninety nine cents. You can't beat that. So the uh, developer um, gives you you know the option to um, you know try it out which I really like so definitely give it a try it's called DigiCal Plus it's available now in the Google Play Store and uh, you know let me know what you think so thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android